it's the Joy Report with Rhonda. It's Tampa, Florida. So excited to be with you. Thank you for tuning in. Boy, do I have something exciting for you today. I wanted to show you some of these beautiful trees that I'm walking under. Here in Florida, we have the sphagnum moss, okay? And so the sphagnum moss gets up in those trees. Let me see if you can see it see some of that moss well it gets up in the trees and it starts strangling the life out of the trees so I want you to see that sphagnum moss as fear and like we are trees the Bible talks about that we are like a tree planted by the streams of water and so that we give life and that we give our fruit in its season and that our leaf shall never fade or wither and so just know is that sphagnum moss is all over those trees and it's sucking the very life out of it see God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And so we have to know that we have a sound mind and that we, we can push that spirit of fear out. And there's a little song that we sang in children's church. It's like, be careful little ears what you hear. Be careful little ears what you hear. Cause the father up above is looking down below. So be careful little ears what you hear. So we'd be teaching the children, you don't want to listen you don't want to hear things and so you got to be careful what you're hearing and listening to and so the same for us we have to be careful of what we're hearing and what's coming in because a lot of reports out there are full of fear and that fear is robbing us and it's it's taken our tree you know we're getting strangled by that fear you know the, I think the greatest enemy is not the virus it's the fear that came with it holy mackerel and so we got to cast that out we got to cast that out of our minds. So I'm just going to give you a quick couple of steps how you can cast that out of your mind today. You know, the Bible says for what we're to think on. We're to think on the good, the perfect, the lovely report. So we're supposed to think on good things. And so when you're thinking on good things, you're not thinking on bad things. And the thing about joy is when you're laughing, you can't be depressed. When you're laughing, you can't be thinking. You know what I'm saying? Because you get beside yourself and you really just start to overflow with the joy. And so, so okay, so now you're going to cast those imaginations down because these are things that, are, uh, that you can't control. We can't control. No, we are out of control. And so, but we can maintain our peace and we can maintain our joy. And so we do that through taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. And a thought that dies unborn, come on, you don't have to think on every thought that goes through your brain. So you take it captive and say, no, I am not going to let that fear grip me today. No, I'm not going to let that come in my ears today because God has not given me that spirit. That spirit's coming from the world. I don't have to fear. I am full of faith. I'm full of faith of who, who I am, that God loves me. He made me. He created me for his pleasure. Did you know that that's in the word? That God created created us for his pleasure that he takes pleasure in us and so he loves to talk to us and he wants you to commune with him and talk to him and get full and let your relationship grow and soar with him and you just oh, it's just so wonderful and it's so peaceful and it's so joyful and that's when those fruits of the Spirit start working in your heart because you don't depend on yourself anymore and you know that something bigger is taking care of you and you know that he he has designed you and that he gave you every talent every ability he gave you the color of your eyes and your hair and he loves you and so he is watching over you and your family and your finances and your bank account and every other thing that, that you are concerned about. He says that we would lack for no good thing. He means that. He means that in his word when he says it. So I just want to tell you that I am the loving hands, the loving mouth, the loving smile of the Lord Jesus Christ because I'm his servant and I'm called to tell you that he loves you, that he died for you and that He's coming back for you and you can just start right now and 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 start that beautiful relationship with him and spend time with him so he can fix some of those broken things that are broken some things because we can't we can't live this life without him 
and we can't get through the things you know I I don't know how people get through death without knowing that there's life eternal life and that you will see your loved ones again I don't know how they get through this life not knowing some things that are promised to them and so there's so much joy and so much peace in knowing him and allowing for him to work in you so that you can be in that posture so that you're not like the tree that's being all strangled. So I want you to be careful today and be mindful of what you're listening to. I want to be mindful of what's coming out of your mouth because bad fruit and good fruit don't grow from the same tree. So don't let bad fruit, bad confession, don't speak death over anybody. Don't just listen to the words. If you're really fine tuning to the, your conversation because people like to talk and then you'll say, oh, I don't really believe that. Why did I say that? And so you'll just start making these corrections and then the faith will just continue to keep growing in you. And it's so wonderful. So I am full of faith and I want you to be full of faith. I want you to know that today that faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of things not seen. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. And I've been quoting lots of scriptures as I've been talking on my walks and my talks, and so you're getting the Word of God. And then the Word of God is gonna go from here, from your mental ascent, and it's gonna drop down into your spirit. It's gonna drop down, and then it's gonna go, Whoa, I got it, I got it, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. The world didn't give it to you and the world can't take it away because when God gives you that spirit of peace and love and joy, you won't you cast out that spirit of fear because you have his peace of mind you have everything that he is so everything that shouldn't be is going to go away because you're practicing you're practicing what you're listening to you're practicing on what you're saying and then do some kind acts of kindness kindness to to other people um i know our friends met us and we went to costco's and bless my husband with a few things. And I thought that was so sweet. And we took a gift for them. <laughs> we didn't even know, we were just having fun and we knew we were gonna see them. And so do acts of kindness. Um, be, be nice, um, share your joy, share your love, share your concern, share, you know, just be what, what God's called you to be. And if you don't know what that is, ask him. Say, what is it that you want me to do? right now today lead me lord show me by your spirit what nice thing that i could do for somebody what is it that you have that i'm not doing that i should be doing or what is broken in me that needs to be fixed help me fix it lord show me a scripture give me something that i can work on today so you know i come in these broadcasts because my assignment is to give you joy so i've given you the joy of the word today day and so I've taught you how to stir yourself up and sometimes you have to start with hee hee ha ha and to stir that living water up on the inside of your belly and just to bring forth that out of your belly and it's healing and it's rejoicing and maybe you need to watch yesterday's video when I got beside myself for it said I'm beside myself it's for for unto God but I'm sober for you so I love the joy of the Lord I love that intoxication where it's a realm of just careless you're just woo, you're carefree and it's beautiful and that's what the Lord has for you and that's the state that I'm trying to get you to go over into by just the words of your mouth by what you're listening to and then having a giving heart and giving and blessing because the blesser keeps getting blessed by the father because you keep pouring out and he's gonna keep pouring out to you so just remember take your medicine today uh, read the word start praying just 
communing with the Lord and give it a little extra today because you have so much time on your hand. This season's going to pass very quickly. And so what you do in this season is going to determine the outcome in your life because he's given you this beautiful, precious thing called time, some downtime. There's no stress. There's no of uh, things that you have to do. You don't have appointments. Some of you, you know, you just have this beautiful commodity time. You know, we exchange our time for currency. We exchange our time on our jobs, but now exchange your time to get full of peace and get full of love and get full of joy. And it's very hot out here. <laughs> So I'm going to time out and tell you that I love you. God bless you and take your medicine today. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine and the joy of the Lord is your strength. So you just say those scriptures to yourself. The joy of the Lord is my strength today. I'm not going to let anything rob my strength today. I'm not going to let anything rob my joy today. Just like somebody trying to trespass into your house. Say no, you've been found out. You spirit of fear, you get the heck out of my house. You get the heck out of my thoughts. You get the heck out of here. You've been found out out. I'm just going to enjoy the joy of the Lord. Hee hee ha. <laughs> so you be blessed today. Love you. Bye-bye. Peace out.